What's going on guys? Welcome to the show. There's big huge rumors going on that we're going to have Kevin Owens take on Brock Lesnar for the WWE Universal title at the Royal Rumble next year. They're just rumors, so take it a grain of salt right now. The Beast Incarnate was last seen by the, by the WWE Universe at SummerSlam when he defeated Randy Orton by TKO. Now, I didn't, first off, I didn't like that match. That was the main event for the match. I wasn't interested in it. I wasn't drawn in by the match. There was blood. I mean, Randy Orton was was split open with blood by Brock Lesnar. I like that because it brings realism back to the WWE, and I have no problem with seeing blood and having wrestlers, you know, split open with blood. I like that. You know, I think this PG needs to go away for a while. I want to see blood, you know. And I just wasn't interested in the match. I feel like the match was only like maybe like 10 minutes, I'll say. That's really about it. Now, WWE was timing. Couldn't have been better for Brock Lesnar's return to the square circle. His fight at UFC 200 was never the same time the WWE announced his match against Randy Orton. So it helped his markability in the WWE Universe hype for him to come back. At the same time... It was also the Vipers' next match after missing several months to a shoulder injury. WWE star Elliot, at two former World Heavyweight Champions, did battle for the second time in their elevation career. Brock Lesnar had, had, had to hit him hard with an elbow to forehead and actually concussion Randy Orton. According to VR reports, the W that's why Randy Orton wasn't able to compete at Backlash this past Sunday against Bray Wyatt. Instead, Eater of the Worlds, Bray Wyatt, took Orton out backstage, and he didn't compete in his regularly scheduled match. <laughs> Over one month has passed, and both WWE superstars are doing new things. Orton is feuding with Bray Wyatt. And they will finally have a match at no mercy unless the Viper still isn't cleared. He will be able to hit the, his RKO. So his injury can't be too severe. Plans are not in place for a rematch on television between Randy Orton and the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Well, there's been rumors going around that Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton are going to have a rematch at a WWE live event. It's not going to be on Raw. It's not going to be at a pay-per-view. They're going to do it at a live event. And I just strongly disagree with WWE putting this match at a live event that fans can't see. If you want to go see the match, you got to go to the live event. You can't. It's not going to be at a pay-per-view, which I think that's really stupid that they're going to do something like that. When people want to see the rematch, but if you want to go see it, you got to go to that WWE Live event. Pay money to go see that match. But they won't put it on a pay-per-view. The second match. So, a lot of fans are probably pissed off about that. Now, plans are not in place for a rematch on television against Brock Lesnar. It wouldn't make sense, make much sense, especially after Loot Lesnar... Demonate against him at SummerSlam. Well, it makes no sense putting him having their rematch at a live event and stop putting it on t and not putting it on pay per view. That does not make sense. In that case, who would be next next for Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman? It certainly wouldn't won't be Goldberg. Well, there is rumors going around that we're supposed to see Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. We're gonna see it, man. Okay, you know, people say, well, it won't be Goldberg. It is going to be Goldberg. We're going to see Goldberg and Brock Lesnar for WrestleMania because the two, the whole 2K17 thing, man, you know, this whole Suplex City thing with the Goldberg thing and Goldberg in the police car and you see the Suplex City sign. We are going to see the match happen and it's going to take place at WrestleMania. We're going to see it. Rather, fans don't want to see it or fans want to see it. It's still going to happen. It's still going to take place. We're going to see that match one more time, in my opinion. Despite what many WWE Universe members claim, Lesnar isn't even going to fight John Cena. They've already done that match before, and the two men are on separate brands. Goldberg isn't going to return at all. 
Well, I disagree with that. I I have a feeling, you know, in the future, sometime this year or next year, we will see Goldberg come back to WWE. You know, when Sting was on 2K, man, he came back. When Otamari was on it, he came back. Anybody who's a pre-order or on the cover of the game, they always come back to WWE. They always have an agreement with WWE and 2K. They have like an agreement with that superstar to come back to, to, come back to WWE, be in the Hall of Fame, or have that one last match. Now, go okay. His 2K partnership suggests otherwise. In new reports by the 434, Brock Lesnar is set to face the Universal Champion Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble. The original plan was for Lesnar at the Royal Rumble was to face against Finn Balor, but Balor was injured. The new plan is said to have Brock Lesnar have. To have Brock Lesnar challenge Kevin Owens at, at the pay-per-view for the title. Now, Kevin Owens versus Brock Lesnar has been a dream match for most fans ever since Owens debuted in NXT. And now those dreams may become reality for the WWE top prize. The report mentioned the original report being that Baylor and Owens for the Universal title. That's a logical route to take. But given Baylor's serious soda injury... It simply can't happen soon. The 434 is right when they say Baylor and Lesnar is a dream match for many fans. So it'll be very exciting if, if it doesn't happen. Once Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns are out of the picture, there really isn't anyone left that makes sense. I want to see Kevin Owens and Finn um, Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar. You know, I know, you know, Brock Lesnar is a beast. He can hurt everybody, man. He hurt The Undertaker. He hurt, you know, broke Shawn Michaels' arm, um, did it to Triple H. Brock Lesnar is a beast. I mean, he's not the way he used to be back in, you know, 2003, 2004. You know, he wasn't this insane guy. I mean, Brock Lesnar can hurt anybody. Okay, he can hurt anybody on this planet. He can hurt anybody's arm. This guy is destruction. Paul Heyman is right. Brock Lesnar is the storm of the WWE. And only one person can beat him. And that's Goldberg. Well, the fans don't think so. But this is a moneymaker match. Kevin Owens is awesome in the ring. He's a good performer, man. He's a fighter. In my opinion, man, he can be a hardcore fighter. This guy does crazy moves around his size and weight that nobody ever does. That nobody ever does. And I'm, in my opinion, I think this match could be good if they book it right. They have to book Kevin Owens right. Book Owens strong going into the Royal Rumble next year if he's going to fight Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar can hurt anybody, okay? So you got to have Kevin Owens... If he's going to fight Brock Lesnar, you got to have Kevin Owens going strong going into Royal Rumble next year. From now to the Royal Rumble, you got to book this guy strong. If you book him weak, there's going to be problems with this match then. If you book him weak, fans aren't going to care about it. I definitely won't be interested in it because Kevin Owens is a fighting champion. He's been good. He was good at Ring of Honor as Kevin Steen. The guy was good over there. Heard nothing but good things about it, him over there. Uh, but I'm definitely interested in the match if they book him right and they book him strong, you know, going into next year. And I think that Kevin Owens could be the guy that could beat Brock Lesnar. With all the crazy stuff he does, I feel like Kevin Owens could. Really work good with Brock Lesnar. I know Brock Lesnar does the whole suplex thing and suplex city and suplex peoples and stuff. And that The man above and another realistic opponent for Owens is Sami Zayn already had a feud with the WWE Universal Champion and has beat him into two straight pay-per-views. That, in fact, Zayn hasn't gone anywhere since his absolute travesty. And evidence that WWE Creative doesn't see Sami Zayn in the same conversation as the counterpart, but they should. They are popular the opposite of each and can have a good match blindfolded. Unfortunately, it's up to the fans and what matches they are made, which is every superstars are pushed right now. It appears that Chris Jericho and Sami Zayn will have a good feud. Okay. So you guys let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see this match happen between Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar for the WWE Universal title at Royal Rumble next year? Leave me your comments below, guys, in the comments below. Also, follow me on Twitter at the Talk Show 101. Link will be in the description for you guys below. Hit that red subscribe button, guys, to get more WWE coverage and more episodes. And also hit that thumbs up for me as well, guys. Until then, enjoy your day. Subscribe. Article is below for you guys as well.